Phần tiếng Anh The Lucky Umbrella The Rolling Ball The Star Shaped Lantern The Brave Pencil The Orange Slippers The Bus With Its Beeping Sound The Mobile Phones Absent Today The Lucky Umbrella and and mother went to a store they saw a beautiful multicolored umbrella he asked can you buy that umbrella for me okay sweetheart we don't have any umbrellas at home anyway mother replied then Anne brought an umbrella to the checkout counter outside it was raining cats and dogs However, because they was holding that multicolored umbrella in their hands, they didn't get wet. When they got home and saw an old lady who was taking shelter from the rain under his house's porch. Her home was nearby, but she couldn't go there because she didn't have any umbrella in hand. And then suggested, Mother, let me lend this old lady this umbrella. You are so kind-hearted. Bring the umbrella to her then. So the multicolored umbrella was given to the old lady. Thanks to it, the old lady could go home. She called it Aunt's Lucky Umbrella. Notes Mother Umbrella Home An old lady store they listen to me my dear it's a nice thing to help people around you do you often help people the rolling ball nam's father bought him a ball nam was very pleased nam played with the ball all the afternoon long however he wasn't skillful enough So the ball kept bumping into his father's bonsai tree. The tree felt hurt. It cried out, Hey ball, can you stay away from me? I'm hurt. I don't want it that way. It's Nam who keeps kicking me all around. I'm truly sorry. After a while, Nam became a more competent football player. The ball rolled into the goal made of his small toys. Each time he won, he jumped for joy and laughed. The tree also felt happy. Hey ball, keep rolling! Because when Nam was happy, the whole family became happy somehow. Notes Nam, tree, joy, ball, go. Listen to me, my dear. While playing games with friends, be careful so that no harm comes to people and physical objects around you. The star-shaped lantern. It was the time of mid-autumn festival. Moonlight was sparkling everywhere. Children all took part in a star-shaped lantern parade. Nga herself also owned a beautiful star-shaped lantern. It was painted green, red, and also yellow. And Nga could grasp its handle to go to the parade. But she also had a battery-powered lantern, which could play music and glow brightly. The battery-powered lantern often thought highly about itself because it could make music. Though Nga spent all day playing with the battery-powered lantern, it still looked beautiful like new and was able to sing happily. The battery-powered lantern saw nothing good about those multicolored lanterns. 
But that night, battery ran out. The battery-powered lantern was left at home. Na and the children all joined the parade. The battery-powered lantern came to understand that it should not underestimate other kinds of lanterns, because they all could bring joy to people, whether they could emit music or not. Notes: Na, she, children. Red, lanterns, green, music, battery, glow, yellow, moonlight, star-shaped lantern, battery-powered lantern. Listen to me, my dear. Toys bring us great fun, so treat them well, will you? The brave pencil. A little girl once had a pencil. It was very long in shape and beautiful. The pencil's end had a pretty eraser. Day after day, the little girl used this pencil to draw. Pencil was very satisfied with his job, but one day, she was bored with drawing. She threw the pencil into a corner. It rolled under the table and made friend with broom and slippers. One evening, while chatting with the slippers, suddenly broom cried out very loud, "Oh, it hurts! It hurts so much!" Pencil was startled, and slippers. Cringed out of fear, it turned out that there was a rat gnawing at broom and made it suffer a lot. Without saying a word, Pencil rushed to the scene, stabbed Rat's back with its very sharp tip. The little rat got hurt badly, so it rushed away for its life. Broom was extremely grateful for the courageous act of Pencil. It kept thanking the little Pencil. Without you, I would have been torn to pieces. Thank you very much. Notes: Girl, she, eraser, slippers, rat, pencil, broom, tip, table. Listen to me, my dear. You can see how brave the pencil is. Tell a story about a brave friend of yours. The orange slippers. On Na's birthday, she received many presents: all the dolls, picture books, and dresses. But her most favorite gift is the orange slippers. Which was decorated with a sparkling flowers. She wore them everywhere, but she had a bad habit of throwing her slippers while running into the house. So one day they were tossed around. One was thrown into the yard. One was under the table. When needed. She could not find one of slippers. She burst into tears. Her mother came to comfort her and found it for her. Na almost lost her favorite slippers. Mom said, "Remember to put them in the right place every time you enter the house." Na took her mother's words. Nodded and smiled again. Notes: Na, she, her, orange, house, yard, mother, flower, slippers, dresses, picture books, dolls, table. Listen to me, my dear. Your beautiful slippers will be more durable. If you take a great care of them, always handle your things with care. Remember that. 
The bus with its beeping sound. There was once a bus and a truck that were close friends. Every day, the bus picked up students from school and then took them home. The small truck delivered pizza for the bakery. The bus had Saturday and Sunday off from work, while the truck had to work seven days a week. The truck lamented, "I wish I got your job instead of mine, so that I could have Saturday and Sunday as weekend off." You don't know how playful the students are. Sometimes they hurt me badly, but the truck still wanted to take the job of picking up the students from school. One day, the bus got sick. The truck had to work instead, but the students often jumped very hard. When getting onto the truck, they even trampled harshly. They were very talkative, like young birds chirping all the time. Thus, the truck got a terrible headache. After that day, the truck confessed, "It has been just one day, but I got hurt all over my body." Well, pizza. Delivery is far better. Since then, the truck became satisfied with his job. The bus smiled with its beeping sounds. Notes: Bus, pizza, birds, sounds, truck, students, headache, Saturday, home, bakery. Sunday. Listen to me, my dear. Each item has its own unique use. Do you think so? Name some items and their daily uses. The mobile phones absent today. Since my dad bought his new smartphone, he had always been busy using it. I didn't want it that way. I wanted him to spend time with me and read me my favorite books, but it seemed that Dad didn't have free time anymore. Day after day, nothing had changed at all. I called out to him. Dad seemed to ignore me. Dad didn't even look at me. I cried out loud. Upon hearing my cries. He was startled and turned around. What's wrong with you, my dear? I dislike you. I even hate your new phone. I sobbed. Then Dad came to an understanding. He saw how inconsiderate he was. That night, he took me in his arms and read me to sleep. The next day. I didn't catch him using his phone at all. Surprisingly, Dad came to help me draw and sketch. I asked him out of curiosity, "Are you not busy today?" "No, I am not. My phone is absent today. I only want to spend time with you, my sweetheart." My heart was full of joy. And I kept singing forever. Notes: Dad, he, phone, heart, books, bed, curiosity, time. Listen to me, my dear. Sometimes your parents can be so busy that they don't have time to be with you. But don't be upset because it's you who they love the most.